What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the 2020 Galactic Empire Mixer. The first one and only to my left, GMP Records, Miss Rub. How you doing, how you doing? Good. To her right is my man, KT the Legend. What's up, what's the up? The owner, the run of Echo Sound. So what we're gonna do is pass it to Miss Rub first. We're gonna have her talk about the past and how she got to this, how they got motivated to get to the Galactic Mixer, so. So, man, where do I start? Music has changed so much since the beginning, even to now. I mean, you'll you'll still hear even old songs that they remix it. It's still like just on fire, you know. And I think that's what got me excited and got my passion going for the music and got me to the point I am now. Um, I have an artist named Millions of Bars and Mopi. Follow him on Instagram, Millions of Bars. And when I heard his music, I knew it was something that was for the world. Like it was gonna be something that, like you would you wouldn't just hear it just to hear it. You know what I mean? Like you would actually vibe to it, and it was real. You know? So, and and, and to actually meet you know a group of people that all hustle grind like I did you know what I mean like you don't find you know twenty dollars something to somebody but not everybody else you know what I mean so to actually find a team to grind with me so from there it just it just took off and as things evolve you know everything has to evolve it's gonna disappear you know so things started evolving social media came into and you know DJ pools weren't really all that booming like they should be or used to be back in the day and you know we just continue grinding it out um, Currently now, we're continuing pushing singles, you know what I'm saying, staying relevant, trying to stay on top of everything, but COVID doing its stuff and really making it limited, like to even having events like this. Um, I can't even, I can't even put a word into it on how hip hop has changed. Or even just the different songs that they put out there like, like, what's a good example? Not to even like put out examples right now, but um, like Finesse mm -hmm. and Cardi B and how she did that with Bruno Mars. Like that, like it, music's gonna keep doing that. And if we stay on that and continue to, you know, give homage to the past and corroborate it with the future, we're gonna keep going. And it, I think if everybody does that, you know, we'll be all right. I just, it's pretty much, you know, how, how I felt about it. What, what was your, um, I think it's two questions. The first one is, when did you guys know you had the chemistry? When did you like, like this is it, we gonna make it all the way to the top? I don't, I, I think they told me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like experiences happen, like, situations happen where whether you wanted to or not, you had to jump out with that person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You had to whether you wanted to give him the baton, it was like, damn, either it's gonna work or it's gonna fall, but no matter what, you had to jump out, and it was like, when, when you did, you know, nine out of 10, it was good. So, that, that kept rocking. Um, I, I couldn't even put a time on it. I feel like it's cliche to say like a month or so, but I don't, like you, you just felt it. I can't say like I knew, I felt something different, and I knew this was right, and it, and it was gonna go somewhere different, like it was the same hustle, it was off the same talk, I guess if that makes sense. So KT, that brings me to you. We've been grinding for like, what, three years now? So now he has this um, echo sound, and um, I love the place. You know what I'm saying? Everything is up, like I said, the parking, but that's, <laughs> it's dope, it's the dopest place I've seen. The kids can play outside. I want him to really break down echo sound and, his vision that he broke down for me like earlier today. How y'all doing? I'm Casey the Legend from Legend. Chicago, Illinois. Mm. I'm happy to be down here in Florida. I don't make some good progress with these artists. You know? I'm glad to be on this set today. You know? Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah, uh, we got we got some history, so but uh I thought about Echo Sound, I was saying, well, I named Echo Sound after my daughter, she's four right now, and her name is Echo Parker. And uh, 
I just want her to have something to live for, you know, and give others something to live for too, you know. So uh, that was the purpose of me building it, but it was more than just that. The, the dream and the drive was not only for my own career, but for other artists as well to display themselves and, and the ones that were given shitty chances, excuse my French, and, uh, and weren't given any type of opportunities to become bosses instead of just rappers and, and, and recordings for somebody to just take advantage of in the, in, the, in, the, in the world of reality, you know? So that's why I kind of feel, I didn't kind of feel, I did feel Echo Sound. Uh, I do opportunities with everybody to, to create revenue for their families and not just myself. And, and I test the pedal to the metal with everybody I work with. And a lot of people, they know that I'm not an easy person to work with, but I can definitely be somebody that's beneficial to pour into your life and uh, make you better and not just talk the talk, you know? Like I find a lot of people do, you know? No offense to nobody, but I'm just trying to get mine and I'm trying to get everybody else on too that fuck with me, you feel me? And if they don't, I don't want to fuck with them. Once again, excuse my friends. <laughs> Tell them about the kids. I want to, about the kid program upstairs, the things that you have for the kids. That's really what I want you to cover. Well, well, I was getting to that until he reached his hand out to grab the mic. Yes, to make sure you so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, we got, okay, this is Echo Sound Broken Down. It's, uh, it's, Entertainment, live entertainment. It's soon to be an arcade. It's a lounge to where people can just chill. Their kids can show up and vibe with their other kids, homies, homettes. We got a studio upstairs uh, where we build a soundproof. And uh, we're trying to do scores for movies. We're trying to create movies. Echo Sound also has a visual side to music videos and commercials and trying to expand the marketing side of people's careers. And uh, we also have a, a point where we all stand together and we, we became a, one of those uh, tribes that they call it. Down for one tribe. Yeah, a down for one tribe <laughs> where everybody stick together and we help each other. And, uh, we're nice to each other. And we don't want to see anybody hurt. All lives matter. Well, that brings me to the future. Um, creating the Galactic Empire. Um, the UNIA Universal Negro Proofing Association, it was started by the great Marcus Garvey. And um, he said he always looked for people, he wanted to look for black people in high places. The Galactic Empire is for everybody to get their opportunity to be a human being in the universe. One of my slogans is the universe is ours. And what I mean by that is just saying that we are ever like some of my face. I feel like like I want us to be able to come together as a team. I want us to be able to be unified and be able to do things that are special, but we have to work together with things that we don't like. Like this 50 for 50, it was built to take care of everybody at the same time. So with the 50 for 50, basically to break it down, it's $50 for a 50 second audition. It's five different categories. One is just for you to write down who you are and do you have 10,000 followers. That's the max dollar. The second category deals with bring them out, which in social distance is only three people. So for social distance. The um, third category is, did I do that already, third category? No. Okay, the third category is, is how many people can you get on your sign-in sheet? And I have a sign-in sheet of 10 people. And this is to gauge the artist to figure out who you really are in the context of $50. Because that's the best you can get with $50. And that's why I came up with the 50 for 50. And you get 50 people with $50, you have enough to cover the program. You have enough to get you an A&R. You have enough to get whatever you need as a unit. And if we can do this in every city, every town, 
and get these artists to get together. Now you start to get artists that are getting mobile and motivated. And they're doing it locally. You don't have to be the best rapper. You can get a get your point across. And as long as you got 50 people that are together and support each other, you can take it to the next level. That was the purpose of the 50 for 50. The sit down was for artists that were serious, that were ready to sit down, got their stuff together, got everything they're ready, they're ready to launch, they got a two year plan, they got a five year plan. The 50 for 50 was just for people that want to see where they're at. Because you need to see where you're at. If we launch this 50 for 50 program everywhere and give the people the chance to work together, we would create a difference in music with everybody. And not only taking this to another level, but going to the community. Because the Galactic Empire is based off of community first, God is the foundation. And then we work on food, helping people, selling clothes, different things like that. But it's based on community on top. If you can't serve your community, then how can your community serve you? True. And so I had to put the music together because the music is the only weapon that we have to keep peace. So I developed all this stuff, I bouncing off of people, bouncing off of artists, asking questions, going to these shows myself, paying $300, and not getting no answer back from an a &R, not getting no answer back from the person that sponsored the program, and, and you just wasted three hundred dollars. So I said, you know what, let me break it down to the lowest compound where we can get something done, where a whole bunch of artists come together and say, look, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this 50 for 50, we're going to get this a and and we're going to give them the best we got. And hopefully the a and sees the organization of this group, wherever it is, and say, we need to work with them. But making sure they encompass with the music, the program of making sure they put God first, making sure that they had a community involved. And as long as they're doing these things, then the empire will grow. And it's not for everybody to say, I'm a part of the empire because I had a problem with that. I want you to partner with the empire. Become a partner. And then if you love it, then you can join. But I'm not trying to get everybody into it. I want them to understand that it's for everybody. That you have a part to play in the empire. You can be a part of this. And I want people to be a part of this. So, hope you guys come out. Hope you participate. 50-50 ain't going nowhere. The like, empire ain't going nowhere. GMP ain't going nowhere. KT the Legend ain't going nowhere. Echo Sign ain't going nowhere. So I hope you guys stay tuned. My man MOB ain't going nowhere. Friends, let me say something. I, I. No. <laughs> yeah, shout out to MOB, right? Yes, sir. MOB. Yeah, I like this move. It's dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, pray to make some sense. This young lady right here makes sense. What's her name again? Right. What is it? Rug, like the carpet. Rug, like shout out to Rug, Play too. Like Alright, so, uh, I noticed some things, and, uh, I gotta say this before we shut the camera off, because it's a very important time in, in, in America right now, where, while we used to feel like we didn't matter, and I mean, we, as a people, mm -hmm. like, we starting to make our voices heard, and I think that we changed some things when we solidified this election this past 2020 to the point where we made it possible for even the, the homeless man on the street corner that has a sign to become a CEO of whatever he dreamed of being a CEO of all his life, even if he was 52 years old, you know? And uh, I think we all got the opportunities right now to be holding stacks of money, just like all the rappers doing the videos, you know? Who knows if it's, if it's fake money or if it's real money, it don't matter. I just hope they feed their family. Because uh, it's gonna be critical for, for the people that may have thought that they were on top before, but the ones that was holding on, like, like the starving artists that was like, putting in, getting it out the mud, that was just, Diving on into every show, that was promoting shit like like wildfire. That even the ones that started years and years ago with the MySpace years. Y'all remember them years? I mean, I mean, well, even with the MySpace years, those years. It, think about it, it. It became the new wave of how we distribute our music and how we get paid now off our music. You know what I'm saying? Before we wouldn't even get paid off our music. We were doing all that work. And now all of a sudden we put all that same work in, tweak it a little bit, you know, to fit the kids, like TikTok, you know, and we all, and, and you can make it. 
You feel me? Like nowadays, you you can make some money off music, and you ain't gotta be signed on no label. Like I feel good to be in 2020, even though coronavirus they kind of fucked some shit up. Excuse my language again. <laughs> I think we, we all. Far for you. I think we all didn't experience that, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was rough. It was a it was a test to our our, our faith and patience of who we are as people. And uh, I think that we're overcoming this as fast as anybody could think we would, you know, to be where we need to be right now, no matter what person or how they perceive or look at the outcome, you know. I'm just grateful to the fact, and I know everybody else is right now, to know that there's a fighting chance for a starving artist that used to starve, you know. And uh, I. Like, I know if I could feel this in 30 days, you know, anybody could, you know? <laughs> who am I? I'm just, I'm just a, I was a broke kid from Chicago washing wheels and tires, you know what I'm saying? For $2, man, look at this, you know? Like, even even the artist that, that has one song to make a catalog and be on one day, everybody eat drama, all of them, you know? I feel good to be in this, this time, and, and I don't want to over exhaust the talk, but I think y'all know what I mean. And uh, we should be we should be grateful and feel blessed to be walking into 2021 and have a new president, you know, have have things that's about to change, and uh, we can we can breathe a little bit knowing that if we got kids and sons or even daughters now, they ain't, we ain't got to worry about them getting shot. Because now we got the, we know our rights as a people, you know. <laughs> like where did you, where where did all this come from, you know? Like where did all this take place? Like the roles reverse if you think about it, you know. But like I said, I'm grateful to be a part of these times, and, and the knowledge is power. And as long as you know where your knowledge stands, you're powerful. And you can only get more powerful. I feel great to be black in America. <laughs> Any closing words, Miss Frug, before we lay down? I don't think I have any. You sure? I don't have any. What do you have for any other female artists, females everywhere that's trying to get in this industry that need to grind? What can you give them for that extra grind? I mean, honestly, I'm gonna say for any artist. Yeah. Any artist. Best advice I can give you is to level up and get a good support system. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I know when you listen to your music or you show it to your auntie or whatever, you think it's awesome. I know you're going to think it's awesome because it's your music. Find somebody outside of your circle to listen to your music. Yeah, yeah. You know, because they're going to they're gonna listen to it completely different or a different engineer, you know. Really look outside the box when you're thinking about your craft. And if you ever feel like you're you're ready, you got it, you ain't. You still have something to work on. So find that. Right. And then going back to the support, whether it's myself, Puffy, anybody, everybody's had a support system. Whether it was my grandma that always said encouraging words, or you know, twenty dollars your mom gave you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it was, it was some type of support. And you're always gonna need that. You ain't just by yourself grinding it out. You have to have something. So don't sit on that. She's my friend. And um, keep those close to you. Like you really need that. Those, those are gonna be my closing words. I, I, let me give a closing word. Let me give a closing <laughs> word. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Stay fucking hungry. Hey. Cause when your ass moves hungry, <laughs> shit, Somebody you get gonna, old as fuck. Somebody gonna get so, you. shit, you gonna get ate the fuck up. Goddamn right. That's true. Uh, that's true. Just stay that fucking true. hungry, no, man. So <laughs> this is only the beginning, oh, guys. This is this is something that's gonna be ongoing. I expect for us to be back again in a couple of months, oh, yeah. really having these talks and really building. And I also expect, and I shouldn't say expect, because my auntie says when you expect something from people, you don't get what you expect. But I'm going to put out an expectation that we start joining together and really start as artists, really start truly working together, really start putting monies together, not just working together, putting monies together to get a real team together. So you guys can really get somebody that's going to do something for you 
It's going to get the work done for you the right way. Don't do the buddy system. Really get together and start doing paperwork. I'm doing paperwork now. It's very important that you already start doing paperwork with each other. That's the only way you're going to learn how to do paperwork with other people. 50 for 50 is tomorrow. You artists want to come out. Last chance to come and get your $50 sit down. We're going to go over it. We're not going to take your money. We're going to make sure you understand what's going on before we take your money. Because it is an audition. But we want to make sure you know what's going on because this is a business. This is not a friendship. So in closing, make sure you take care of your business. It's not a friendship. The Like Your Empire is going to be here tomorrow on the 21st for auditions. We're also going to have sit-downs in Tampa with Big Hef and a &R, who's partnered with Def Jam and many other labels. So just be ready. Be ready for the next upcoming events that we're going to have for the Like Your Empire. Thank G GPMP for coming out. Thank EMOB for coming out. Thank KT the Legend for hosting us. Thank Galactic Empire for putting everything together. And we good and we out. We love y'all. The universe is ours. The universe is ours. Go get it. I like it.